Hello, year eight. Right. Welcome along. Okay, so let me just explain a little bit about what is going to happen this half term. So it's likely that you are going to be hearing my voice for the remainder of this half term or for however long we are going to be in, in lockdown or isolation or whatever you would like to call it. And it might be that I am not your teacher. So if I don't know you and I'm not your teacher, hello, my name is Mr Selby. It's great to have you along. And we today are going to be looking at a topic. But instead of telling you what that topic is, I'm, I'm going to ask you to just do a really short task for me before I explain anything about how we're going to be moving forward or what we're going to be doing today. So on the screen in front of you, you can see a question. Can you guess from the pictures what topic we are looking at this term? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you 10 seconds. You don't need to stop um, the video or anything like that. I'm just going to give you 10 seconds and I want you to see if you can guess. In your head, you don't need to write anything down. What our unit of work is going to be today and moving forward this term? OK, so well done if you said evacuees or the evacuation process during um, the war. Congratulations if you got that right. That gives you a really good insight and probably a little bit of an advantage moving forward. So I'm going to go through with you first um, the objectives that are in the light blue box and then I'm going to go with through with you the objectives that are in the green box on the right hand side of the screen. So our unit objectives, so over the course of this scheme of work, we're going to demonstrate a knowledge and understanding um, of evacuee children and that evacuation process and all that went on during that war, and I'm not telling you which war it is today because that's going to be part of a little task that I set you um, as part of today's lesson. So yeah, we're going to look at evacuee children. We're then going to use empathy and something called empathy to explore evacuee children and their lives. If you know what empathy is already, congratulations. I'm not going to tell you what it is today. It's not massively important at the moment, but I am going to see whether you know the answer in the coming lessons. And then finally, we're going to hopefully be able to apply some drama medium, so maybe some drama techniques and some skills to demonstrate the circumstances faced by evacuee children and the feelings that they might have had. So I might be, towards the end of this topic, asking you in some really creative ways to come up with some drama at home about um, the evacuation process and evacuee children's and from their point of view and so on. But today what we're going to do is we're going to do two tasks. The first task is going to be able to um, looking at and identifying and justifying feelings and emotions that evacuee children might have had or might have felt in the opening stages of the evacuation process. And then what we're going to do is we're going to develop that knowledge and understanding of the evacuation process and evacuee children. And we're going to be doing some research into that as the lesson goes forward. Now, what you are going to need for this lesson is you are going to need your drama book. Now, if your drama book is at school, which I know some of yours might be, um, then you are going to need some notepaper and a pen to take down some notes as we work through this video. You are going to need access to the internet just to, com to complete some research. And then finally, you are going to need an appropriate way to record that research. So it might be that you're going to put it into Microsoft Word, into PowerPoint. You might want to take notes on a piece of paper. Um, if you have some software that might make it look really, really interesting and creative that isn't what on the screen in front of you, so Word or PowerPoint, then you're more than welcome to do that as well. I don't mind how it's recorded as long as that you can submit it to us. So please pause the video now. Make sure that you have that stuff in front of you. OK, welcome back. Right. What we're going to do is I've left the images on the screen because that might be able to help you with our first question. So by yourself, just thinking in your head, nothing needs to be written down just yet. How would you have felt if you were told you were going on a holiday and notice that that's almost in, in inverted commas to the countryside without your mum and dad and you don't know when you're coming home? Just thinking about that. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do for a small five minute task is this. I want you to write down a list of between six and ten different feelings and emotions that might summarise how you would have felt about the scenario that is above. OK, that question that I have just asked you. What I am then going to ask you to do 
is to justify why you wrote that feeling or emotion on your list. And this is a way that you might want to structure it. So on the screen in front of you, you will notice that I have put feelings slash emotions in the middle of my page and then I put a circle around it. And you are welcome to do that on your piece of notepaper or in your drama book at home. Then what I have done is I have put my adjective that describes my feelings and emotions. And I've done that in purple so you can see it really clearly. Then what I have done is I have drawn a line. And if you look at the red text, that justifies why I might have felt that way. So I gave my feeling and emotion as being anxious. And then in red, I said why. And I put, I have never been on holiday before, let alone without my family. So that might say to me um, that... I am not just worried because I'm going into something completely new, but I'm also worried because um, I've never been away from my family before. And that could be quite um, anxious for us all. So, again, I've given my feeling and my emotion and I've kind of put that into an adjective, which you see in purple. And then I, I have given my justification, my reason why for it. Now, you are going to need between six and ten. You have five minutes. I'm going to ask you to pause the video now and come back to the video when you have got those things written down. OK, wonderful. Welcome back. So before we move any further, it's important that you have a sound knowledge and understanding of the evacuation process. And that really leads us where we're going to be moving towards in not just our future lessons, but um, but towards an assessment that I'm going to be asking you to do at the end of the term. So it's really important that we know about the evacuation process and the procedures and what went on. And some of you might already have some of that knowledge already. And if you do, wonderful. Please include that within the research that I'm going to ask you to do. So before I do anything else, I want you to turn your attentions to the light blue box, which is in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. So using the bullet points on the screen, I want you to research wartime evacuees and the evacuation process in Britain. And I want you to look at these questions. So what war were children evacuated in? What war was it that this whole evacuation happened? Where did they go? Why were they evacuated? Approximately how many people were evacuated? Apart from children, who else was evacuated? And then I've got this final thing at the bottom. Can you find out five interesting facts about being evacuated? So again, what you see in that light blue box is just some questions that should prompt your thinking. That is not an exclusive list. If you would like to find out more information about that, that is wonderful. But this task should take you no longer than about 30 minutes. So if it is taking you an hour, then you're probably going into too much detail. Um, so let's start off by researching the bullet points first and the questions that you can see in front of you. And then if you have some time left, I'm really interested to see what else you can find out. Now, in the kind of peachy box on the right hand side, um, you will see a list of websites that you can follow to find some information out about um, evacuation times in Britain. So please do follow those links. Absolutely. I've put them there to help you. So yes, absolutely. Um, go to the resources that have been sent to you by your teacher and have a look at those um, to help you collate your research. And then finally, if we go back up to the top, top of the page, you can see a darker blue box and it says how to present your work. Now, I don't mind how you present it. OK, you can do it in any way that you want to, but I'm looking for it to be really creative and neat and imaginative. So if you want to create me a poster, that's great. If you want to create me a leaflet, that's great. Maybe a small PowerPoint. OK, just maybe answering those questions. You can put it into a really creative um notes in your book, maybe a thought shower, a mind map. How you decide to do that, I don't mind. OK, but as long as you are evidencing it and as long as you can send it back to me. So if you want to do it in your book and you want to use felt tip pens and colouring crayons and whatever, um, then you can take a photo of that and you can send it to your teacher. So how you decide to structure it, it really doesn't matter as long as you've got the key pieces of information in there. Needless to say, no copy and, copying and pasting. Um, I don't want to see that. We know what copying and pasting looks like. So please avoid that. We want you to just collate the information. It's only 30 minutes worth of work. So we're not looking for anything more than about an A4 piece of paper. Then what I'm going to do now is ask you to pause the video. 
I'm going to ask you to do this task. And when you have done the task, come back to the video and I'll talk to you about how you can submit it to your teacher. OK, welcome back. So submitting your work. You only need to submit your research, okay? So I know that I asked you to do a small task which looked at maybe putting yourself into the role of an evacuee child and asking you to think of the feelings and emotions that you might have thought of. Um, I don't need that today. Do keep it safe, though, because we're going to be moving on to look a little bit more at that next week. So do keep that safe. It is going to come in useful, but you don't need to submit it with your work today. How are you going to submit your work? Now, you should submit your work to your teacher through either Microsoft Teams or via email. Now, your teacher will have specified in the email that they sent you with these resources how they would like you to submit that. OK, so it might be that your teacher wants it on Microsoft Teams. It might be that they want it, them to email it to you. Now, if, if your teacher has obviously asked you to submit it to Microsoft Teams and that hasn't worked, please email it to them, OK? Um, be really, really um, forthcoming and proactive in getting that work to us. We're really interested to see what you have got. And then finally, you need to ensure that your work is submitted before or on the deadline that has been set by your class teacher, OK? This deadline is made clear in the email that you have been sent with the rest of the resources for this lesson. So while I'm not telling you what your deadline is, OK, it will have been sent to you by your class teacher and it will have been made really clear. Now, if you have come back to this video and you have spent 30 minutes on it and you have not quite finished collating your research, you are free to spend another 30 minutes doing it for homework, okay? Your teacher is not going to ask it, uh, ask for the work on the day that your lesson is. We're going to give you a little bit of time to finish that. So if you have not quite finished, you're welcome to do so um, before the deadline. There will be a little bit of space to do that. But please don't spend more than 30 minutes doing it, okay? That is absolutely ample. An hour should be more than enough time to get that research. OK, so thank you, Year 8. I look forward to talking to you again very soon. Hope that you stay safe and goodbye.